Welcome back, good buddy, or good body. That's what I should be calling you guys. Got this expensive guitar up here on the chopping block again today. Beautiful D42 Martin. And what are we going to do to it? Well, we're going to remember this crack I showed you around the back back here at the heel. That, that's the reason the guitar is here. Is uh, the owner was you know worried about the, the neck joint pulling apart. That's not what's going on. Uh, I'm 100% sure now. He told me this guitar lived in a very dry climate. Before I go any farther, if you hear bombs going off in the background, it's a bunch of idiots that live up the hill here behind me that uh, gets their rocks off to loud noise, popping, boom sounds. So that's what it'll be, and you'll hear them, I'm sure. It's nowhere near the 4th of July yet, and these idiots up here, they always, uh, man, it's unbelievable. That's why the bad attitude shirt. Now, the owner told me this guitar lived in a very uh, dry environment in Utah, okay? And I was thinking that this little crack here, because there was no finish over this area, I don't know if you can even see that or not, but uh, along the heel and the neck where it meets the shoulders of the guitar, there is no finish over that. There is an open crack there, and there is unfinished uh, open grain wood right inside of the crack and uh, I'm thinking because it lived in such a dry place that wood shrunk it dried out and it made the crack form now uh, you all know how the, the uh, humidity has been here right now it's 64 percent that's not bad it's bad enough but it's good compared to the 90 and 100 percent we've been having continuously for weeks for weeks now, man, just as I figured in this high humidity environment, the crack went away. Now, I can still get a piece of paper in there, but just about the thickness of the heel cap is all. And you remember before in the other videos of this guitar, I could stuck it in there a, a quarter, an eighth of an inch, man. So it's closed considerably what it was. It's, the guitar's been here about a week, so I, I don't think it's going to close up any more than that. And whether it does or not, I need to get glue in there now before it closes up and seal that. That's all we're doing. We're not gluing the heel or the neck. We are just uh, simply putting glue over the crack to seal that crack, keep the environment out, keep the humidity out, skin oil, dust, whatever. Just so that doesn't happen again and the crack doesn't come back. Alright, I talked about using uh, a thick CA glue because... It, it's so thick it wouldn't run in there for one thing and it's just like finish when it dries I've changed my mind since then I'm going to use tight bond and I've used tight bond for this very same thing before and uh, mainly because well for two reasons because when it dries it has a whitish look to it which will blend perfectly with the uh, the binding around this guitar here and the white heel cap plus the other reason, tight bond will give quite a lot more than CA glue, especially thick CA glue. It won't give none, man. And tight bond will give a little bit, so it'll allow the crack, you know, if it does try to come back, it'll allow the wood to move right there a little bit, but it'll still be sealed. Nothing from outside is going to get inside of there again. So tight bond it is, and uh, I'll bring you over here closer, and we'll get right into it. Uh, just don't let the boom scare you away. Hold on. This is really going to be a very easy fix. There's really nothing to this at all. I'm just going to squeeze glue along that crack. And like I say, the heel cap is whitish, yellowish like, as is the binding. And this glue is pretty much the same color as that. When it dries, it's still kind of got that look to it. So it'll be perfect, man. And like I say, it'll move. It will move with the uh, the binding. So let's just start right here. It's okay if a little bit runs down in there. I also want to come up the sides of that in a minute. Uh, just the sides uh, where the crack is, not all the way up the complete side of the the, uh, not all the way up through here just you know down to about where the crack was at I'm just going to give that a minute to run in there a little bit 
and then we'll wipe the excess away and it'll never move again this is a nice guitar folks man I swear you really ought to go out find one and play it you will uh, you'll see what a very expensive guitar feels like, sounds like, and what it feels like in your hands. It's just incredible, unbelievable, to say the least. Let me give that just a few more minutes to run down in there a little bit better. Uh, I don't want it to run in there too much. That's why I didn't want to use uh, anything thinner than thick CA glue. But just enough so when I wipe it away, you know, there'll be enough down in there to make that seal. All right, that should be enough. So... Let me just wipe him clean. And it's just that simple, folks. Someone was asking me about this on YouTube the other day. They were afraid of hurting their uh, finish with the glue. And I said, no, man, you won't hurt your finish. Just wipe it off, you know, before it sets up. And, uh, won't do anything at all to finish. It'll come right off of it beautifully. This tight bond does. Now, if I wanted to get glued down into that crack, I would have wetted it first. But, like I said before, that's not what we want. All right, probably going to have to readjust the camera here a little bit. I need to turn the guitar up this way for now. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well or not. And we need to do this very same thing right here. That. And let that run down in there. This is probably scaring the shit out of some of you guys that know what this guitar is worth. <laughs> I'm almost afraid to touch it myself. But, you know, you got to work on them occasionally. That's nothing, man. That'll clean up. It'll come right off. You'll see. It'll all be good. Try to get all of that out of there now. At least what's visible. And that just pretty much did it right there. I think. Yes, sir. Let that set just for a momento. And let that run down in there. And bring you back. We'll flop it over, do the other side. Hold on. All oh. right. Now we are working on the other side of the, of the guitar. I'm going to do the very same thing. I did before, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but just run a little bead of it all along there, just like so. I'm going to hold this up so the glue will run into it if need be, if that's where it needs to go. Give it just a minute to uh, get into to the crack a slight bit. Hold on, I'll bring you back when I get ready to wipe it clean. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, I'm just going to take the rag now. I'm going to wipe it back this way because I don't want to get, risk getting glue on the strings. And just give it that number a couple of times. This is, uh, probably does look kind of scary to the untrained eyes. <laughs> but, uh, believe me, you won't even be able to see it once it's completely done. Won't hurt the finish one bit. And uh, sorry if I'm blocking your view, but maybe I will rub that up that way. Yeah, there we go. You can see a little bit on the finish right there. This glue really cleans up nice, man. I mean, if you if you do get it on the finish, let me wipe this side again now too. So I got better access to it and I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about I'm gonna get the camera and bring it over here and I'll show you a closer look hold on here's what I'm talking about so you can see oh it looks like a lot more glue than what's really there it looks like a lot more than what's there in the camera. I don't know if that's some reflection I'm seeing or what that is, but 
you can see it, but when it dries, you're not going to be able to see it at all. Now, let me turn the guitar up. Yeah, so you can see on this side, that must be reflection we're seeing on the other side there. See, that's not glue, what you're seeing there. Because if you come up here like this and look at it, see, you can't even see that. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but that was reflection we've seen on the other side. I know I wasn't seeing it like that with my eyes. <laughs> like I'm going to look at it with anything else. Uh, but you'll see it even less after the glue sets and it dries. Probably if I'd slide it back, you might be able to see it better. I don't know. You can see that pretty good, I think. And you can see here how well that blended. You can't even tell. Now before, if you remember, when I stuck the paper in there, it came down to uh, probably twi twice the width of the heel cap here, okay? Like right there. I can't hold all this shit still, but... And now, before I put the glue in it, it would only go in about the thickness of the heel cap. That's what I was talking about, is all the thicker it would go in there. Um, when the glue sets up, it's never it's not going to be no crack there no more. It's going to be all gone. All gone. <laughs> and it's a done deal. It's done, man. As soon as that sets up, I'll show it to you under this light. Yeah, see, you can barely see the glue now. In there. And on this side. You might still be able to see it a little bit because it's not completely set up yet. It'll get sort of clear like and you won't see it at all once the glue sets this side's drier and you can see how in the back is drier i don't know if the glare of the light would help that or not anyways it's a done deal and uh going to be good as new i'm going to leave it lay upside down for the time being and uh that should never be a problem again it's sealed now just like it had lacquer all over it like that Gibson was when it first came here, the J45 I'm talking about. That's going to be sealed now, and it's swelled back up under 64% uh, humidity as opposed to whatever it was in Utah in the, uh, the dry climate that it lives in. Should never be a problem again. And uh, you can do yours that way. Whoever was asking me about that, I can't remember. There, there's just so many of you. I can't remember all your names. Whoever was asking me about it, used, I used Tight Bond Original for this. Now, if you use CA glue, and you can use that, but if you do, be very careful. <laughs> you can ruin your finish with that if you don't know what you're doing. With Tight Bond, just put it on, you know, let it get where it needs to go, and wipe it off while it's still wet before it sets up. It'll come completely off of the finish. And then when the glue sets up, you know, you can take a polishing cloth and polish it out what little bit's left on the finish it'll come right off you won't have a bit of a problem cheers thanks for watching folks hope this helps at least the one guy was asking me about it i know it's going to help this guitar we're going to hear this thing again oh yeah uh this guitar has a bone saddle in it okay that's what the owner and me decided to leave it bone all right i set it up and then we were talking about it, and he wants to try a tusk saddle in it also. So I don't have any tusk blanks, so I'm waiting on them. They're uh, on order now. Should arrive uh, probably probably tomorrow or uh, Friday. I don't know when you'll see this. It'll probably be, uh, the weekend will be past by the time you see it, probably. Uh, we're going to do an experiment with this guitar. It already, you already know what it sounds like. Well, we're going to take a tusk I'm going to make a tusk saddle, and I'm going to intonate it as best I can. Make the same uh, string action height. It's going to be all the same. And all we're going to do is just I'm going to play it with the bone saddle in, swap it out for the tusk saddle, play it, and you guys can tell me the difference, what you if you like it or if you don't like it. Tusk works on most guitars, but not all of them. It's not good for every guitar. I recommend Tusk Saddles and Nuts on guitars. It's got a shitty sound to start with. Maybe it's just a really dull, clingy, it doesn't have any tone or any quality sound to it. Like most cheap, get cheaper guitars are. 
put a tusk saddle and nut in it it'll it'll bring everything that guitar has up a step now a guitar that already sounds good sometimes it's an overkill okay you got too much highs or too little of lows or you know a bunch of crazy things can happen too loud no i usually don't hear too many complaints about them being too loud and that's something i'm going to make a video about playing dynamically it's coming <laughs> Uh, anyways, hang around for that comparison between Tusk Saddle and Bone Saddle in this guitar, D42 Martin. If uh, you can, you're ever going to be able to tell the difference, you'll be able to tell it on this guitar. I'm thinking Tusk might be an overkill for this particular guitar. But, you know, the owner will have it. He can swap them out anytime he wants to. and uh, Whichever one he likes, he'll probably leave in there. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hang around for that. And the dynamics playing thing, it's coming. Uh, it's it's going to piss some people off, I know. Especially banjo players. <laughs> Cheers. See you soon. 100% bad attitude. How much? 100%. I'm just about ready to put it to work tonight.